What's up guys? If you left a comment in the comment section of the weekend video that I did like two weeks ago, then you are eligible for the giveaway of a Ducklar pet. And the winner of that is, boom, congratulations. We'll be sending it to you just shortly in your YouTube inbox. So make sure to check out there. This week, we're gonna give away a fifth anniversary snail mount. And if you guys would like to be eligible for this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and make sure to punch that like button. The winner will be announced in the next weekend video, so good luck everyone. What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're gonna to go over a quest that a lot of people are requesting help with because it's confusing for a lot of people and this is the Mind Boggles and that is a quest that you can obtain in the Tempest Bay area with the Carnival of Ascended. So after you've done several of the quests in the Carnival of Ascended, you will eventually get the quest for the Mind Boggles. All right, once you're ready to do it, first thing you need to do is go to your personal dimension because we're gonna be dealing with dimension items that we have to place around and move them in different directions and all of that. So once you're in your personal dimension, uh, go to the quest summary and then go to where it gives you an icon for McGuck instructions. Go ahead and click on that because the first thing in the quest is that you have to read these instructions. So once you open it up, that's basically reading it. Go ahead and close it down after that and it should complete the first line. The second thing that we need to do is assemble the Gurg summoning components from your quest inventory. So let's go ahead and open up our quest log here. And you will see with this quest, you will have several quest items now in your inventory here. And this is um, an altar here. This is a branch and then four, four gargoyle heads that we're gonna have to move around. So we're gonna go ahead and move this over to the side of our screen and go ahead and click on the first item here. And we're gonna place it down on the ground right in front of us. All right, so once that is done, you go ahead and you will see that there are some red symbols, red brownish symbols on the top here. And it looks like a square with a triangle attached to it, almost like an arrow. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these gargoyle heads and place them in the square area of these, uh, of these symbols. So let's go ahead and place it. Uh, that looks pretty good, I think. All right, so you want it facing in the direction where the triangle is almost pointing like an arrow. So this one is right on the spot. We don't have to mess with that one anymore. But the next one, we're going to have to maneuver some. So let's go ahead and grab the next gargoyle and uh, let's go ahead and get it right there on the square. And then once you place it like that, you will go ahead and click on this uh, light blue that is on the item, that is how you select to the next item. Uh, so that you're not maneuvering the altar around on accident instead of this component. All right, so once you have got that selected, you will press the number two key or else you can even click down here to where it has rotate. And we're going ahead and clicking on that. And then you wanna go ahead and rotate the green and move it around to where the gargoyle is facing in the correct direction. All right, so that looks pretty good, I believe. So let's go ahead and leave it like that. All right, so the next one that we're gonna to go to is this next gargoyle, and let's place it in the square as well. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, click on the light blue once again so that we're selecting the component, and then we can hit our number two button or select it below. All right, so let's rotate it all the way around to where it's facing the complete opposite direction. Yeah, that should be about good enough right there. And as you can see, the, the gargoyle's head is facing in the direction that the triangle is pointing. All right, so we got one last one here. Let's go ahead and click on that and then place it in the square area here. Easy, easy. Okay, go ahead and click on the light blue so that we're selecting the right item. Press our number two key that's going to rotate. And let's go ahead and rotate the green around. That way our gargoyle is facing the correct direction. All right, so there we go. We have all of our gargoyles placed. And now we want to take the branch, which is our last component, 
and place it right in the center here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Oh. There we go. All right, so now we kind of just wait. We got to summon this guy here. Let's get out of edit mode. And you'll see that this guy has appeared and now we can talk to him. So there you go. That is the quest, the mind boggles. Uh, you go and speak with him and then that step is out of the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to punch that like button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.